Hey, this is John Hanson, National Mr. Universe of the Powerhouse Gym for CriticalBench.com. Today I'm going to talk about arm training. Every bodybuilder wants to build big arms. I remember when I started training, one of the first movies I saw, of course, was Pumping Iron. And Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lou Ferrigno with their big arms was a great inspiration. Every bodybuilder wants to have big guns. That's one of the reasons we go to the gym. I started bodybuilding in the late 1970s in Chicago and I got to see the great Sergio Oliva at a lot of the bodybuilding contests and Sergio was amazing. He had like 22 inch arms. His arms were so big he had to cut the shirts, his shirt sleeves to fit his arms inside them. That's how big he was. And then of course Lance Dreyer, another great bodybuilder from Chicago who went on to win the 1981 Mr. Universe. Lance had like 22 inch arms and he was just amazing to see. So these guys, seeing these guys in person when I was a young guy really inspired me to really want to build big arms. Uh, one of the first body parts that I had that grew really easily was my biceps. I had a real good peak on my biceps when I was only 13 years old. Kids at school used to call me Popeye. So I always had a big inspiration for building big arms and really uh, building up on the potential that I had. And that was always one of my trademark body parts when I was growing up in Chicago and then when I started competing was having big arms. So arm training was very important to me and there's a lot of great exercises that you can do to build the arms. I always focused on using barbells and dumbbells for arms. Some of the best barbell exercises that I did for building the biceps were of course the standard barbell curl. There's no better exercise, no more basic exercise for building the arms, for building the biceps than the barbell curl. Uh, you don't need a lot of weight with this exercise, but you really want to focus on the biceps and do it correctly so you don't build, bring in other body parts like your shoulders or your lower back. Another great exercise for the arms is the preacher bench curl. Larry Scott, the very first Mr. Olympia, made this exercise famous. They actually called it the Scott bench curl because he was the one that really brought uh, popularity to the preacher bench. Larry used to do them with barbells, dumbbells, even used to do reverse curls on them. So preacher curls is a great exercise for building the arms. You can use them both with barbells and with dumbbells uh, to really build the lower part of the bicep. Another great exercise for arm training is the incline curls with dumbbells. This is another exercise that I like to do with a real high incline bench and uh, really feeling it. Any kind of dumbbell curl for arm training is great because you get more supination with the biceps when you pull, when you turn the wrist up. So I do alternate dumbbell curls or seated dumbbell curls are really great arm training exercises. Let's talk about arm training between training at the gym and training at home. Of course at the gym you're going to have a wide variety of equipment, not only barbells and dumbbells, but you're also going to have arm machines, you're going to have cable exercises that you can do. So there's a wide variety of equipment you can use at the gym. When you're training at home, you really only have barbells and dumbbells, but you can still get a really good arm workout doing arm training, training at home, because barbells and dumbbells are just the basics and that's really all you need. As long as you have a, a wide variety of dumbbells going from light weights to heavy weights, you can really do some great arm training workouts at home just with barbells and dumbbells. Even if you're training at home and you don't have any weights, there's exercises that you can do. You can do dips just using two chairs for your triceps. And you can even train your biceps by setting up two chairs and having a bar lay across the, the, the chairs and doing like a rowing motion or using an underhand grip to really train the biceps. So even with no equipment at all, you can still get a good arm workout in at home if you're innovative and you know what to do. In Arnold Schwarzenegger's first book, Education of a Bodybuilder, he has a bunch of exercises that you can do at home without any weights, including push-ups, freehand squats, and he had a lot of these arm exercises in there where you can do dips between two chairs and doing rowing motion, motions between two chairs by just using a, a, a bar across the, the chairs. A good question is how frequent should you train the arms? How many times a week? One mistake I see a lot of people doing is they do too many exercises and too many sets for the arms. The arm muscles are really small when compared to muscle groups like the chest or the back or the legs. So you don't need a lot of sets. You just need to do the right exercises and just do the exercises correctly in order to really get the arms to grow. Because remember, your arms are also used when you're training other body parts like your chest, your back, your shoulders. Your arms are all involved, always involved with those other body groups. So you don't want to overtrain your arms by doing too many sets. 
What I like to do is I would just do basically about two exercises for the biceps. Usually one barbell and one dumbbell exercise, three sets each, is plenty of work just for the biceps because the biceps are a really small muscle group. Now with the triceps you can do a little bit more because the triceps are a bigger muscle group. They have three muscles instead of two. So I would usually do three exercises for the triceps, maybe three or four sets each. And I would do usually the triceps after, using, after working chest because the triceps are already warmed up. Same thing with the biceps. I would always do them after working back because the biceps would already be warmed up and they wouldn't need a lot of work after doing back. Those would be some of my tips for arm workouts for getting the biggest biceps and triceps you can get. Everybody wants big guns and doing the right arm workouts is what's gonna get you there. I hope you found that helpful with your arm training. I've got something else for you, a free report. It's called the seven worst testosterone killers. All you gotta do is click this box here to get this free report. If you're on a mobile device, you can't click this box. So you, please check the video description below. Just click on the top link, the seven worst testosterone killers to get this free report. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and leave some comments or questions for us.